and welcome back to Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, where the quest is very mystic, and it is indeed a quest of Final Fantasy proportions. But uh, we're in the Focus Tower now, and we're heading off to the uh, second area of the game. I love that pose. It's just so goofy looking. Well, we use that coin we got. Open that door, but first, let's look at all these dead ends here. Enemies are weak against it. Hey, right, let's go get a, a third party member. What a nice greeting. Good talk. Alright, since we have a party member, we're going to town. Or are we? Actually, in this episode, we're going to do some um, battlegrounds. So, it's going to be a Pretty, pretty slow one here. There's more explosives here. Alright, and like I said in the previous, uh, part that I would, uh, suppose, you know, joking around saying I would read some manuals, but, you know, I so happen to have a game manual here with me. So, all these battlegrounds are going on here. Prologue, 1998. Several unusual murder cases has occurred in Raccoon City, a suburb in the Midwest. Bravely, Raccoon City police reviewed reports of groups of people eating monsters attacking civilians' houses. The order came down, sent in the elite STARS team to investigate. The STARS Bravo team went in first. Unfortunately, due to unexpected engine trouble, they had to make an emergency landing. They touched down in a dense, dark forest. This was the beginning of their nightmare. Or, of THE nightmare. Excuse me. Billy Colin. Convicted on circumstantial evidence, the ex-Marine was sentenced to death for the murder of 23 people. On the way to his execution, the transport he was riding in crashed, and he eked day. While already on the run, he bumps into Rebecca. <sighs> Stars. Special <sighs> Tactics and Rescue Service. An elite unit assigned to special missions, composed of two teams, Alpha Team and Bravo Team. Rebecca Chambers, the newest member of Stars Bravo Team. She is a gifted woman who spent through who sped through high or sped through school and graduated from her university at the age of 18. A highly organized agent, Rebecca knows how to control a situation without letting it control her. Ooh. So that was the Resident Evil 2 uh, 
prolong there. Starting the game. One. After you turn on the power, the title screen appears. That's good to know. Two. Press start slash pause to display the mode selection screen. Okay. Three. Highlight your game, mode, choice, and press start slash pause or the A button. Uh, the manual I'm reading from is the GameCube version. Game mode. Load game. Continue a previously saved game. Select the memory card containing your save data. Then select the file to load. Press the A button after each selection. This game requires 9 free blocks of memory in order to save game data. New game. Start a new game from the beginning and set your game difficulty. Hard. For experts. Normal. If you played before. Easy. Beginners. Best choice. Options. Change various game settings. Auto setup. Audio setup. Choose between stereo or mono. 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 Select either BGM or sound effects and adjust the following levels by pressing the control stick or plus or the D-pad left and right. Uh, what else is in this manual? Oh, we got the first battleground out of the way there. Uh, actions. Examine. Move in front of an object and press the A button. Check objects. Open doors. Talk to characters. By investigating, you can find clues to help you proceed through the game. If there is nothing to see or discover, no message will be displayed. Aim and fire. Press slash hold the R button and move the control stick or control pad up and down to aim. Still holding the R button, press the A button to fire. Attack with your currently equipped weapon. And remember kids, your currently equipped weapon, not weapons that are not currently equipped. Push. Get close to an object and press slash hold the control stick or D pad up. Position your character to face in the direction you want to move the item. Try moving suspicious looking items. Also move items to use as steps in order to investigate higher levels. Mm. Let's see. Map. As you play the game, you will eventually find maps hidden throughout the level. You can view these on a different screen to help you assess your location. Choose the map command from the status screen to open the map. You can check your character's location as well as see which rooms are connected to the current room. Rooms appear in various colors to indicate which one you have or haven't entered as well and which are locked and open. Pressing star slash pause opens the map screen window where you can select which map to display. You can also select a floor on the current map by pressing the control stick or d-pad up and down. Or should I say up or down. You don't get choked. Two, two. You don't get to pick two at once. You can only choose one or the other. When you press the A button while viewing a map, you'll see a display of all the items laying around in the area. In that area. You can choose the item you want to display by pressing the control stick or D-pad left or right. In case you've forgotten where you left certain items. You can also zoom the map in and out by pressing the L and R buttons. Press the Z button to struggle struggle the display of map frames on or off. Mm. Partners. Your partner is an ally covering your back. Resident Evil Zero has two playable characters, Rebecca and Billy. The player you control is the main character, and the one who moves automatically is your partner. You can switch the characters you control on the fly by pressing the X button. You can also give partners different orders in the status screen. See page 10. Mm. Choose the partner icon to open the partner window. Use the control stick or D-pad to scroll through various order options and initiate the select option by pressing the, you guessed it, A button. Be sure to think of, pigil of vigilance before deciding what order to give them. You can also mm. switch characters by choosing character change from the partner window. Mm. K 
can't defeat the enemies. Fallen enemies can get up many times and attack you. When you totally defeat an enemy, its core flows onto the floor. Be sure to look for it. Your area of attack and attack power varies depending on your weapon. Learn the characteristics of each weapon and choose the right one for the situation. Some enemies are very vulnerable if hit in the right spot. Learn each enemy's weak point to take advantage of them. Cooperate with your partner! Exclamation mark. If you select attacks from the partner command list, you can attack together. Don't run out of bullets or you'll be open to counterattack. If you still can't defeat the enemy, run! Can't solve the puzzle? You are probably overlooked a file or item earlier in your investigation. Go back to areas already explored and look more thoroughly for missed items. Examine each item carefully. Sometimes you can combine other items to make new ones that you can use to solve puzzles. You can't solve all the puzzles by yourself. Sometimes you must cooperate with your partner. Forget where you left an item? Items you left behind can be located in the map screen. Use this to make finding items a lot easier. Separated from your partner? Your partner's location is displayed on the map. Change characters and press the X button to get to your partner in a hurry. You can give your partner orders while investigating together. Be sure to give orders so you, your partner will be ready to act. Ooh. Now, let's see the ads for this. You got the game. Now get the guide. Resident Evil Zero. Official strategy guide. Crafty tips for solving every puzzle. Detailed map revealing item locations. Step by step walkthrough. Strategy for using both characters. Battle tactics for defeating every enemy and boss. All secrets revealed. Resident Evil. More evil waits you. Only on Nintendo GameCube. Get the entire collection. Available now on Nintendo GameCube. Ready M for mature. Resident Evil 2. Coming soon. To pre-order, go to www.residentevil.com. Nintendo GameCube. Coming soon. To pre-order, go to www.residentevil.com. Resident Evil 3. Nemesis. Nintendo GameCube. Survive the dawn of a nightmare. With the official strategy guide from... Okay, so they got two different strategy guides from two different comp... Well, okay, they got... Two strategy guides from different companies for Resident Evil Zero. That's interesting. And they're both in the same manual here as advertising. With the official strategy guide. Complete walkthroughs for Rebecca and Billy. Highly detailed maps. Expert boss tactics. Game secrets revealed. Signature series guide. Features bonus content and more. A good old fashioned American creep out. Comic Spiders Guide. Resident Evil Code Veronica Book 3. The latest soft cover collection of the original Hong Kong comics adapted from the best selling game, or best selling video game. Available now. Available at comic book specific stores and other bookstores everywhere. Okay. really about it with this uh, manual. I mean, I skipped over and glossed over some of this stuff, but hey. Oh, well, I, mean, I can read the warnings here. I guess that's to be something. Let's see. Warning seizures. Some people, about 1 in 4,000, may have seizures or blackouts triggered by light flashes, such as while watching TV or playing video games, even if they have never had a seizure before. Anyone who has had a seizure, loss of awareness, or other symptoms linked to an uh, to, to such conditions should consult a doctor before playing a video game. Parents should watch when their children play video games. Stop playing and consult a doctor if you or your child have any of the following symptoms. Eye or muscle twitching. Loss of awareness. Disorientation. To reduce the likelihood of seizures when playing a game. 1. Sit or stand as far from the screen as possible. 2. Play video games on a... On the smallest available television screen. Three, do not play if you are tired or need sleep. Four, play in a well-lit room. Five, take a 10 to 15 minute break every hour. Caution, motion sickness. Playing video games can cause motion sickness. If you or your child feels dizzy or nauseated when playing video games with this system, stop playing and rest. Do not drive or engage in other demanding activity until you feel better.
Oh, cool. Capcom's got a hint line. Hints are available. 1900-976-3343. 99 cents per minute for 24 hours. Pre-recorded information. $1.35 per minute for live game counselor assistance. From Canada, it's one nine zero zero six seven seven two two seven two, and it's a dollar thirty-five cents a minute. I didn't think they had video game hotlines in uh when uh what was Resident Evil Two coming out? Uh, two thousand two, I think. Yeah, I didn't think they had a uh, video game hotlines after two thousand. All things Capcom. Capcom. www.capcom.com Capcom.com is your one-stop shop for all things Capcom. It's all at, that, 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 at Capcom.com and that's only the beginning. Dig deeper and you'll discover exclusive Capcom merchandise, game trailers, strategy guides, and even an online game forum. All at Capcom.com. Register to receive the Capcom newsletter and a chance to win prizes. And I got a picture of uh, Sir Arthur's boxers here. Interesting. Instructional booklet. It's not a instructional manual, it's an instructional booklet. So you know that means uh, high quality right there. With Resident Evil Zero. Alright, where were we at? Alright, we're coming on the last couple of battles of the battlegrounds. So yeah, that, that was the uh, some of the Resident Evil manual for the GameCube. Uh, hope that was a good read there. But I can see we got Benjamin to level 10 here. go. Alright. And we have two scorpions and a giant toad. What an awful, awful, deadly combination. Alright, now the heck's share of the battlegrounds we can do right now, and we got a magic ring for our reward. But, uh, this concludes this part of Mystic Quest, and, uh, we will see you, or I will see you, or I will be in the next part for sure. Till then, catch you later.